My guitars, are, my guitars are made by a guy called Mike Vanden, and uh, like most guitar builders, he's a little bit of a hermit, and he lives um, not very far from where I live. He lives about an hour and a half drive uh, in the West Highlands. I live in Scotland. He lives in the, in the West Highlands of Scotland. But you know, you have to go through all kinds of kind of endurance tests to get to this. His, his place, including a, um, a ferry. It only takes five minutes uh, to get across, but you have to get there. So he, um, Mike Vanden makes these wonderful arch top guitars and mandolins, like F-star mandolins. And he also, the, very interesting too, that he also makes the pickups as well. And he, he makes these uh, Mimesis uh, blend pickups which he's also licensed to uh, Fishman, so all those pickups were actually, actually made by him. So when I, when I go to see him, I, I have to go through all these endurance tests of you know, driving over hills and across streams and, and then getting on a ferry and, and then shooting a few sheep that are in the way and, and, and then uh, it, eventually you, you get there and he's not there because he's gone fishing and all that sort of, sort of thing. So he's a typical guitar builder really. But, but he just makes these most uh, most beautiful beautiful guitars, and we, we spent a bit of time designing them. And uh, I just went there, and uh, we we just put something up on the wall and started coming up with the shape and the, the size of the guitar. And then when we got fed up, we'd go down the pub, and uh, then we'd come back again and start drawing squiggly lines again. And, and in the morning, we'd have to tear them down because it was complete nonsense. But uh, but we would, uh, you yeah, know, we spent quite a bit of time putting that all together and d deciding on woods and things. And so it's really nice for a guitar player to be involved with a guitar builder and actually have some kind of input. Most of the things that I asked him that I wanted him to do, he said no. But then I just sort of hit him a couple of times and the yeah. of the ground the pub. Yeah, and, and uh, got him to do it and he agreed with me in the end. Because I, for the past two days, I've been interviewing a lot of incredible musicians, some of which are very concerned with the feel and the tone of their instruments. Other people, um, Don Ross, who's like, I don't know, I just play it. <laughs> and I'm like, well, what kind of wood do you do? It's brown. <laughs> that's that's you know, all he wants to know. But, but even he admits that for somebody who's, who's chasing tone for so long, um, to actually have knowledge of tone woods and to be able to work with a luthier, like like you have, did, did you have a knowledge a little bit of the building of guitars when you when you were sitting down? No, I knew nothing at all. I knew nothing at all about it. But I, um, that's not a problem because he does. But I, so I know other things. I know things that he doesn't know. So between the two of us, um, between the two of us, we we got together and we managed to create. Uh, this guitar. So I, I've just made an album that's coming out in um, in September. It's called Double Standards, and it's a solo album, but it's a guitar duets. So I'm I actually uh, record both guitar parts on it. So I'm just duets. Um, somebody very unkindly said uh, that I should call it Martin Taylor plays with himself. And I, 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 I didn't really think it was. It didn't really work. It didn't have a ring to it. Not a big audience for that. No.